It's your garden time and on today's show Tom and Cindy guide you through the best houseplant options for those wanting a floral finish to their homes. House plants are huge right now. Tom Masterbrook of Masterbrooks is here to tell us why. Exactly why. <laughs> why? Well, no. I, I mean, let's face it, Instagram, social media, it has created a culture that has driven just the demand is immense. And there's so many cool new options. But also, we had all these problems in Florida and Texas and the south with freezing temperatures. And these are all landscape plants down there. Right. So we had the perfect storm. We have a, a great market where people are looking for cool and new and different stuff. But we also have a market in the south that is going crazy because of the weather problems they had. Okay, so demand is high, supply is a little low. Um, but it's also really hip. It is. It is. Hey, Abdi, get out here. Abdi is the photojournalist we're working with today. And you want a house plant. You just told me you want a house plant. Why? Yeah, at least that's the goal. The goal is really just to. My, I just got a, obviously a new, uh, new apartment. So what I'm trying to do is, you know, fill my living room and make it kind of greenish and make it look nice. Add oh. some color, some texture. Uh -huh create a better uh, air environment. All houseplants will do all of that. So And they're hip right now, supposedly. You think they're hip? I think so. They're, I think they're cool. Trendy. Yeah, 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 they're That's trendy. I, I think they're very suggest? trendy. Yeah. So this is Pilea. Um, this is a very easy houseplant. And the reason I would say this is a good one to start is you will get small little starter plants as the plant gets older. And you can cut them off. You can root them in another pot. And then you can give them away to friends. So you can Aww. start a community off of one plant and build that community and all your friends and family, you can give them a plant. So it's a great plant for starters. All right, mm. Abdi, yeah. there it is. Um, <laughs> your gift to me. Thank you. <laughs> so let's talk about some other ones that are, are really uh, popular right now. Cactus are still popular. Wow, um, let's face serious. it, this is a barrel cactus. It's sharp. Very sharp. You know, wow. you can see right on the top, there's flower buds starting to form. Yep. Yep. So it will flower, but this is nice because it'll go anywhere from a high light to a low light. You don't want to kill this with kindness. Don't overwater it. Right. It wants to stay root bound, but you know, easy. Easy. Succulents. So Super jade plants easy, for right? someone starting out. Jade plants going to be one of the easiest things. Uh, mealy bugs the one thing you want to watch out for, but other than that, it's pretty iron proof. You usually again kill it with kindness. Too much water, too aggressive. Um, but other than that, easy. highlight, low light. Um, it'll go highlight or low light. That's the beautiful easy. part. Easy. This is calico. -y. This is okay. so cool. Another look at these succulent. leaves. So you can see all the little sports coming off. And those are seeds. Those are little seedlings. Aww. Okay. And then if we look in the bottom of the pot, you can see the little oh seedlings my. starting to root. And again, same thing. You can share those over time. What an interesting. Very plant. cool. Love that. Snake plant. Okay. Oh, is that what they're Been called? Been around Snake forever. Plant. This is by far the most ironclad house plant. It's yeah. you kill it with kindness. Basically, you put this in a bathroom with no light. And it's fine. And it stays for a long, long, long time. How you know, about very that? easy. Ferns. Easy, easy. This is a cool new fern. Do you they know. need to stay kind of wet though? You think of ferns? Fe is ferns want to stay wet. So okay. sometimes we put a little uh, tray underneath with some okay. rocks in it. It creates okay. humidity. Um, low light. All right. Okay. Gotcha. Pepperonia. Okay. Pepperonia. Yeah, this one's Ginny is the Don't name. Don't put it on your pizza, though. No, no, no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but you can see when temperature changes, it will go from really light leaves all the way to pink hues. Oh, nice. Um, again, low light, lower moisture, um, you know, but a pretty easy plant. Variegation is nice, too. Mm -hmm. And then I love these leads. Yeah, the Monstera. You've, you've said there's like Swiss cheese. I yeah. say it looks like a moth got yeah. to it. So this is a great <laughs> one for a uh, medium to low light kind of in a nice big pot and say, you yeah. know, the uh, living room, right. you know, very easy. Um, gets fairly large, um, but a great easy plant. I got to tell you too, once you start having houseplants, it's hard to stop having houseplants because you, you do, you get used to the, the greenery and the happiness. It's factor. great. It's a great addiction. Yeah, it is. You know, and specifically, <laughs> yeah, that's right. Specifically <laughs> over the winter, it gives you something to start working on in the garden and, you know, right in the house. So right. you can build dish gardens. You also can go ahead and start growing your food inside too, you know, as a house plant. So, you know, there's many different ways people can get started and go to your local garden center, you know, talk to them about how you can get started. Excellent. Tom, yeah. thank to, you. Great to see you. Thank you. And we'll be back right after this.